Good morning everyone, I am Oracle Unicorn and welcome to Shaman Messages. Please keep in mind this is a general reading, take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, uh, be sure to check your moon, rising and venus signs as my videos do cross connect. I have been ordering uh, the videos and playlists by Zodiacs so uh, you can, um, if you would like, watch the kind of like a the progression in each zodiac by week with the energies that I uh, give get and the messages that I receive as some messages in one video will then progress into the next video and then you'll be able to piece a lot of your puzzle together for any questions or um, any kind of downloads that you may have that could help you bring a fuller picture to what it is that you are piecing together with your healing of your emotions and um, really trying to create an emotionally fulfilled life for yourself. Oh, and this is a weekly reading for Aries, by the way. <laughs> I'm sitting here looking at it like, okay. Why am I so like drawn to this? And I was like, oh yeah, because I'm in Aries rising. No kidding. <laughs> because it says you're possibly going to be given an opportunity uh, and it could take a chance. So um, underneath that is genetic memory and knowledge. So possibly a genetic uh, memory of knowledge of uh, your ancestral healing with yourself okay that's a lot of what I'm getting okay those cards are upside down yes oh yeah you have a serious message coming in Aries I saw it <laughs> yes I feel like you're seeing synchronicities about this because there has been a lot of videos saying oh a message is coming in oh, a message is coming in and it's like some of you may not even see it and they're just like okay so when's this message supposedly coming in oh i know how you feel about that i see that all the time in card readings and videos that i watch and i'm like okay so when's this message coming in <laughs> i'm just like um uh, can you get a little more specific <laughs> and then some you really can't because i do uh believe that free will is greatly affected into this as much as the energy is there that the message is wanting to be give or given unto you or you out um it all goes within the right timing and the right um connective understanding of when is the right time for it to be given out kind of like divine timing but i have a hard time with using some words <laughs> okay <laughs> because it's just like you know a lot of you know i am pagan of faith and this was an art <laughs> in that <laughs> and so it's just like as much as people starting to read energies and stuff they're starting to throw a lot of like god stuff in it and i'm like you know what how that just completely contradicts y'all's own faith that i'm just like uh, this this really doesn't make sense to me and then I go and try to find more witch like people that do this and you know how hard it is to find people that are like that and putting this out there like that and then it's like makes me think it's like well maybe that's why I don't have many readers because I'm starting to understand that a lot of people that watch this are of like a christian strand of faith even if they're not all the way christian it's like a christian strand of it and i'm just like okay <laughs> i feel a little bit manipulated <laughs> i don't understand this this function here <laughs> like i really thought this was like a gypsy thing of doing this and a lot of like pagan faith and the spirits connecting with the spirits and I mean it's like 
a lot of those people don't really believe that they go angels and god and spirit which to me and the way they go about it it's like that's 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 no different than saying god in my opinion i'm having personal protection in this okay because i'm trying to be very specific with my words about this because i'm not trying to down any of anyone's faith or anything like i had a message all on my on my facebook under something because i like sharing some things for awareness type things like apparently some ground beef having some kind of like thing in it some kind of disease in it that's possibly killing someone and people like this person that's like a light person just kind of like downed so many like faiths of like the witch faith like they drove it more into satanic and luciferian <laughs> and i'm just like this is contradictory i was like um just because you feel a certain way doesn't mean you need to have harsh words and downing other people's faith and he's like just came back at me like like oh i'm trying to get rid of all the demons and this that and other and i'm just sitting here like thinking i didn't even say anything after that i was like okay this is this could turn into like a battle of wits and I'm just not in for that. And literally, I, it was, I was just sitting there thinking and I was like, everyone has these kind of like qualities within themselves. It's not necessarily like, oh, you're possessed or dealing with demons or anything. It's the darker aspects within you that you level up into a healing aspect in a way and it's just like this is very contradictory towards people that are like oh go for the positive you know and i'm like you're you're, you're being very downing to people that of a christian lined faith you're supposed to be I, I thought, I felt, um, being uplifting towards those people, they're the ones that need help the most. When I was Christian, that was my whole thing, like, you, it was like being a, like a, a soul saver, you know, you, you're there for them, you, you go, those are the main people you go to. <laughs> downing them ain't gonna help it anymore, if anything, downing them, downing their faith, is going to drive them more into that and then want to do malicious stuff towards those people because it's like what the heck you know it just with y'all being a very fiery element I, I just I personally feel that a lot of you get what I mean and I'm going through a lot of like personal confusion with a lot of this stuff I wouldn't call it too much of a battle. I feel like it's a balancing. It's like I'm embodying more of a Libra-like energy, which is interesting because Libra is after this one. Thank you for listening to me though. I appreciate y'all so much. I really love doing this. <laughs> oh. it, but it, it's, it's really confusing. Because it's like, sometimes I feel like I'm giving, given false hope in certain areas when it comes to readers. And I really try to clear that up when it comes to my readings. And really want to like, make something actually seriously uplifting instead of false hope giving. And I feel that's where this personal protection comes in for y'all and knowledge because under that you you have that knowledge aspect and perception into this and just like a lot of them say you know these energies vary um you could give in a, a message from someone that is the right timed kind of like divinely timed 
and not to down any any of this new age movement, you know. But like, I, I really come at this from a very logical sense, very intellectual sense. Um, I'm a Aquarius sun, so, so what do you expect? <laughs> like really, I have to analyze it. Like hold on now, this is how I feel when this is going on. And then months later, it's like, uh, that kind of was true, but then it was like the way it was being done was giving me a lot of false hopes. And I was like, well, how can I integrate that into mine to where I can, I can, act, I can really help without it presenting a false hope upon it. And it, and it makes it very interesting. I guess this is where a lot of them say, well, get a personal reading, you know, it'll be very specific to your own energies. As true as that may be, there's one thing that's different. The element of free will, as much as this may be in your energy field, it's going to take the other person to be willing enough to give it, or you to be willing enough, or the level of healing to be there for it to come in and with that being in mind i personally feel that eliminates self that that hope there that that false hope there like oh when's this message coming in you know i'm waiting on this message and it's like look at certain aspects in your life like the precision and things the um The message is from nature too that's corresponding with what you're listening to you know um, there's a lot of things that I'll, I'll, I'll take it for a grain of salt when it comes to these readings and especially with it being of another line of faith those could be for those of that specific kind of like energy field I'm, I, I'm 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 trying to bring a conclusion within on that okay so I don't take it too much to heart um but corresponding some of these message with messages of nature like those are a lot accurate like one of the things that I have noticed when it comes to my changes like what a few months ago they were telling me oh your your work's going to like blow up in like next few weeks or something like that and it's like well it depends on per person oh well, this reason reading wasn't meant for you and it's like well in a way it still kind of was because it's like still stay true to your work stay true to your own heart stay true to what brings you joy and that's one of the best entrepreneur energies of making something being created makes it come alive so it's like this isn't in your energy field this is what you are working into not that it's going to happen in the next few weeks or a week but that it's being worked on. This is the energy that's gaining its movement. So little step by little step, like you may be getting, and like in my case, more subscribers. That is a step up step in your work. It may not blow up like this says. And some of these things is a lot of what I really would like to clear up when it comes to readings. Um, and that's why I really name it Shaman Messages because it's really listening to your soul and your connection with connection with um, nature itself and really listening to your, your guides the synchronicities that are happening within your heart and drive and paying attention to the small details because 
excuse me, I do have a card in there that says, put your energy to the basics and the access will unfold for you. It's a lot what that is. But it's like, it's like so many readings are, I, I feel that's why it's like, it's like a, 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 like a popular entertainment in a way, but at the same time, there's a lot of people that look to this for a sense of awareness into it. And that's what I did. And it did teach me a lot. It really did. Uh, with soul growth, with twin flame soulmate type things. And it's like, that's another one that's been really blown up out of proportion because it's like for the last year month after month like oh you're gonna meet your your person oh you're gonna meet your person oh there's gonna be someone new or oh there's this that and another and it's like if we could just i guess in a way not put so much false hope into it because some people, okay, yeah, that really could happen. Oh, that reading was for them and not for you. And it's like, yeah, but there's, a, I feel there's a missing piece there that could be done to where it is also for those two that really wanted to really connect on a whole nother level. It's, it's like a soul level. It's a connection soul level. And one of the biggest things when it came to terror was it wasn't something to play with. It was something that you went for, for real guidance in the heart. And it's like when I was Christian and I was literally doing vital Bible studies and getting graded for it, getting A's and B's, and if I got a C, I sent it out, asked for a new one, so that I could get an A or a B. And it's like, this, this, this work was, like you, you were supposed to put your faith in God and Jesus and everything, and to not go to this. This is magic. This is playing with spirits. This is going to spirits before you really went to your to the to the God. I mean, that's what's like. To be personally honest, Doreen Valentine was was right. Like, for people of those faith, it, this is not like. What's, it's like it kind of like draws a very border like line. A lot of people may disagree with me and be like, oh, well, I'm connecting with the angels and stuff like that. And it's like, but that's not, that's, it's like, that's not the energy work of this work. If this is connecting with the, the animals, the spirits of the land, the, the, it's like really, yeah, I'm knowing your energy field but connecting stronger in that sense. And I just, well, Aries, <laughs> I'm going to get back more into your reading. <laughs> but thank y'all for listening. And for those of you, you could, uh, it, they'll just fast forward through all this. <laughs> okay, so I feel that's your personal protection into this really feeling with your heart understanding to feel with your heart and that's a lot of what I felt like you know the Bible was really talking about well technically Jesus was kind of talking about that and connecting with the land and stuff like that but that yeah <laughs> oh look at that pickle just kind of like an um like a kind of like a, a little kind of like balancing act of a spiritual like energy that I'm going through and something that you're going to be the, in a fickle with possibly a decision about this 
message that comes in for you that takes kind of like a chance, a roll of the dice in, asking you to stay calm within this situation, honor your personal power, and heed with caution, okay? Heed with caution. Ooh, that really resonates with me, <laughs> especially what I just opened up to. But I like opening up to y'all. I really like being fully authentic with y'all, especially when it comes to my ideas, my mind, and my own spiritual essence within myself. <laughs> That's why I call it shaman messages. It's really opening up fully to your own soul. And how can I show my full authenticity if I'm not opening up, <laughs> you know? You landed it, Aries. Respect. What is up? What is up? And abundance fully comes in for you over this. It's like you were kind of like, kind of like how I am. <laughs> kind of like, you know, a little bit nervous about opening up and opening up your full authenticity about yourself. But then, bam, you get respect for it. And then, bam an over amount of abundance literally my dream last night i ended up in um some kind of like some kind of area and it was like a lot of my gifts were being blocked not like gifts as in like spiritual gifts but gifts that were being given to me were blocked like uh financial like gifts and then all of a sudden it like somehow it unlocks and everything started flowing in. I was literally like in a huge circle of gifts. Huge circle of gifts. And this happened last night. And I was just like, wow, I did it. And one of the cards that really, <laughs> cause people were um, sending me cards too one of the cards that i that i saw it was like or that i got it like made me so happy it was like a glittery like unicorn that was pop-up it was like a pop-up card and it was just like wow that's beautiful i was like i really did it i really i really like fully accomplished my own like emotional fulfillment and in, in my walk and my path and everything it was like i was so overly happy in my dream it was amazing and it was just <laughs> i was so happy with myself and i just sat within all of everything opening up everything one by one and giving my full attentive energy to that specific person that sent it which in time that would be very hard <laughs> especially with how many people there are out there in the world that would probably really like connect with my energy vibe that's going on here and especially since how i would be getting big over like being oracle unicorn on like facebook or on youtube or something you know uh, thank you aries i really needed this release <laughs> some of you are probably going through an extreme release with your emotions too either with yourself or with someone that's very close to close to you okay oh my gosh <laughs> wow Authenticity. With oracle wisdom of your sensitivity. I totally said that <laughs> before I flipped these three cards. Y'all saw it. I had all of them just kind of like this, and I was like, you know what? You know, talking about it, and then I just like flip them over, and I'm like, oh my gosh. Be well aware, well aware, and tapped into your true self. What brings you harmony in yourself? What 
allows you to love yourself in a whole nother light. Fully being authentic, no matter what people like, look down upon them, upon you or say you have to be completely different or make you feel as if you're not good enough. Because I'm really fighting those emotions too. Like feeling as if I wasn't good enough or that I'm not good enough or that I'm not doing it right. Um, like one of the biggest ones is I feel like I'm missing something or I'm not doing it right or good enough when it comes to um, getting seen on YouTube or getting a lot of views or you know what am I not doing to be able to like s spread my videos out there more you know it's like what am I not doing um, what, what what am I doing like like wrong in a sense I've been going through a lot of that and I just keep going I don't allow it to hold me and keep me down I just keep going <laughs> figure it out <laughs> I always do and that's kind of how I do with my life no matter what crazy situation I have been in and oh my gosh I have been in some hellacious situations <laughs> with myself um and it's just like wow I just feel like I'm not good enough <laughs> it was like I'm good enough for me I love who I am it just makes it really hard to love who I am when I'm apparently not good enough for this. I am not good enough for this. <laughs> like, I can get a job easy, nine to five job. Um, but somehow, I am either not good enough or I am like emotionally like breaking because it's like I started my my uh, gifts of an empath started to really enhance enhance a lot so being around a lot of people when i was at waffle house and then like the kind of like harsh shifting of energy the energy of the employees just it was just like so much harsh negativity it it was like it was literally cracking me into tears almost every day it was like crazy it was like oh my gosh this is too much energy this is too much like coming in it's like oh well block your block it and it's like well that's a gift i don't want to block that it actually helps greatly doing this it actually makes me want to practice it more be me more you know like like what <laughs> block it <laughs> oh okay <laughs> it's like telling me don't don't practice that energy then because it's just it's just bad <laughs> it's just like well when it comes to kind of helping people through their own tough things emotionally that they're going through, feeling it helps more. <laughs> just like, I just apparently was not in the right job. <laughs> I'm just like, well, I'm gonna figure it out. <laughs> I've taken a chance, <laughs> rolling the dice. I can't, I, I can't even count how many times I've done that. <laughs> and I'm like, well, <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> Even when it came to working with the dogs and some things just, oh, like, oh man. Like the dogs were amazing, <laughs> but uh, how they were being treated was uh, breaking me badly. And then it was like, because I was sticking up for the dogs and making them feel guilty, it was like they imprinted that on me. And I'm just like, well, I went and just started soul breaking, slowly breaking again, and I was just like, well, this is too much of a harsh energy. I just said, I'm going to go into personal protection and respect myself, and I'll find where I'm meant to be. That's what I keep telling myself, full authenticity about it. I'll find where I'm meant to be. That's what I do when it comes to these readings. I really soulfully open and whatever it is that I was going through, maybe someone that's watching this video, like, are like, yeah, I totally like get what you mean in that area. And they're just like, oh, I thought the same thing. Okay. I really just mirrored in on myself and was like, you know, I just love who you are. 
why do I have to block some of these gifts just to feel accepted? I accept myself the way I am. I love myself. And yeah, I go through some hard crap because it's like, well, I gotta honor myself, you know? <laughs> and, you know, there's been times where I went homeless. And it's just like because there was so much soul and heartbreaking energy that was going on and I was like I'm going to find myself <laughs> you know I'm going to honor myself I'm going to figure out where I belong <laughs> I learned a lot of lessons over that I would not suggest doing it <laughs> oh my gosh I almost was beaten with my own stick <laughs> I literally had a stab just to protect myself someone grabbed it from me and it almost beat me <laughs> beat me with my own stick <laughs> and I was just like this is freaking crazy. <laughs> what the heck is wrong with these? <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Gaining the wisdom out of some of these things and honoring your own sensitivity in these matters. But no matter what, I've felt that respecting myself in certain situations rather than to fully, in a sense, submit and allow people to completely disregard or disrespect me or keep watching heartbreaking scenarios happen in my work scenario. It's like, I, working there, I represent them. That's not something I want to represent. I didn't even want to wear the uniform, the shirts, because the dogs were afraid of the shirts. I literally started having the shirt underneath one of my long sleeve shirts, like a button up long sleeve shirt, and literally button it up halfway. Just to like differentiate myself from the others for the dogs. It's, it was like, and then, and then it's like the energy just because I was doing that, it was like it just completely shifted on me and just being just certain ways taken advantage of and this, that, and other. That's not somewhere I want to work. Like, I want to be respected for the work I put in, for the heart I give in my work, you know? I want to be able to be fully authentic with my emotions into things. Enjoy where I work. That's respecting myself. That's having personal protection with my own boundaries. Like, that's not right. You don't treat people like that. And then that's how you gain a sense of abundance inside yourself. And then I just literally keep having faith and belief that I will find where I'm meant to be. I'll be happy <laughs> and I'll have my abundance coming in you know it is obviously in the energy field just like you Aries it's there it is in the energy field whether that's inward or you being received a gift that makes you feel abundant with having sensitivity card you know or taking a jump or a, a, a chance into a new job that's like Wow, I would totally love to experience that. Maybe that's what this message is coming in for, you know? Or, you know, having an understanding of really being able to personally protect your own energy. Maybe that's the, that's the fickle imbalance that you may be going through. So see how it's not very, it, it's very, yeah, general. But even if I were to do a personal reading, it would be that kind of general, unless I literally was like going into like this extreme vision of every little single detail of where this energy is coming from. I'm literally reading energy fields in your, your own kind of like bubble within your life and um, what you are really feeling and drawing in within your own life what maybe you have wanted to come into your life to really push you to your full potential okay so it can come from any angle 
you may want it to come from this angle from maybe from like love and it could be coming from work and that is completely disregarded because someone is saying oh you're going to get a message from a loved one from someone maybe of your family and it never happens but that awareness from the other side was never there because you were drawn and focused into getting it from that end and it was totally coming from this end so see how the false hope kind of falls into play that that's that's exactly where i have found it happen and then i was literally you know aware enough to like think it was coming from that way and then have been able to see oh no that message came from this direction i was like okay that was kind of right okay these are general readings it may not resonate with any everyone but it did come in i did get a message but it didn't come from that angle Maybe for other people it would come from that angle, but how can I do this better to where I'm not giving some kind of focused in, honed in energy, telling people one thing and for some people it's coming in from another direction. I feel like I can give a sense of balance. Okay, be aware. Yes, there may be a message coming in, but it could also take time. Um, and that's why I sectioned out my videos into Zodiacs because maybe a video from three weeks ago is going to help you to be aware of certain things that are coming in and then you watch the next video and it, and it, it kind of starts lining up which I'm, I'm, I'm kind of perfecting it a little more when it comes to how I'm really communicating this energy that's the right words to say communicating the vibrations communicating the messages because this is a message, but this is a number 11 message. This is like a going to come in type of message and something big that could cause a really a, a kind of like a decision of a fickle that you're going to have to hone in on your um, sensitivity about, possibly have a respect about. but doesn't mean it's going to be from a love situation it could be from a work situation it could be from a family member uh, something that's happened but it was it was like a destined message that is big I have another message in there which is a feathers to me it was like a light-hearted message it's not as um, big of an imprint big of an impact it's more of a light-hearted like possible like communication of something collaboration into something so that's how I kind of read it but I don't necessarily specifically just because it says sensitivity and there's a ring there well this could be having respect and connection and authenticity with yourself instead of a connection and a message coming in from uh, your your forever love person and you're gonna have to protect your own self-respect and come into seeing the abundance with yourself for some people it could be that but I also want, for those that it is not that I want that um, full awareness of a circle about what else this could be and not that false hope of those that it's not coming from someone they love and they focused, honed in on that, and it doesn't happen. It's like, oh, well, you just da 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 And it's like, well, I don't want that energy to be there. I, I don't want to extend that kind of false hope. But, wow, this is a very big heart-to-heart -heart connection with you, Aries. Um, we're already at 39 minutes. Wow. You're stepping into the energy of unconditional giving and unconditional receiving and growth from your inner shadows. And seeing in the har harmonious alignment of yourself and being able to like be aware from with all of the possibilities of even if you watch other readers and they say it's going to come from one direction, you know, it's like I feel like you're going to be open more 
to what other possibilities it could be. Not to, it's like an unconditional like receiving and giving of that. Like taking it in, allowing it to flow and not like grabbing and holding it and being like, okay, I got away from this mess, I got to, it's like not being too, like hanging on to it, just allowing it to be of an awareness in your sight, in your vision, and in your direction, and the, um, and, and also paying attention to nature because the na nature is going to show you a lot of where it's coming from, and, um, those are your own like kind of guides and messengers that will really be able to connect with you and these kind of help you to kind of like pinpoint specific energies of what could possibly be coming in and to really uh, emotionally within yourself kind of be ready and open to receiving it, open to um, being able to unconditionally give uh, a love and respect and uh, wisdom and sensitivity into the matter um, and, and gaining more wisdom and uh, uh, understanding of your your emotions into the matter of your how you're going to um, walk into it in a very leveled state um, some things and, and being able to pay attention to more when it comes to your triggers because your triggers really help you to grow a lot and to um, balance out your emotions a lot especially when it comes to your thinking or seeing that you're holding on to things too much and allowing it to kind of flow flow these injuries flow in and out okay I see I'm an aware and then I'm going to allow it to go okay I see this and I am aware and not holding on to it and being like okay I gotta find out where what is it is, is it coming from that tree okay no okay is it going to be coming from that post okay no and, and that's the, it's like too much of using up your own energy instead of like paying more attention inward paying more attention with your own sensitivity in these messages of awareness and wisdom and staying true to the authenticness inside of yourself and um, really being able to practice personal it's like gives you a personal protection type of sense like you won't get no false hope out of it you will just be aware and allow it and things will be less of kind of like a surprise but at the same time it will grant you more of an even balance with being able to listen to your guides with being able to listen to your heart um so yeah aries <laughs> thank you for this beautiful heart to heart conversation with you <laughs> i feel that you are getting a lot of inspiration and visions out of things that are going on things that you're connecting with okay and um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share on social media. That would greatly help. I appreciate y'all so much. And thank you for all of you who have been subscribing and following me. Um, y'all have really, like, given me energy and truth and honesty into my heart with the work I do. Thank you. Thank you very much with all my soul and all my heart. Um, I wish y'all the best. Um, please be aware that these energies may be general, but there are certain things in it that you can, that you will be able to find that are connecting with you, especially when it comes to watching nature, the birds, even squirrels, um, trees, um, anything when it comes to that. And this helps you to cross connect it just like my videos with different zodiacs cross connect with each other and just like kind of like my videos like maybe in an Aquarius all these Aquarius videos kind of like level with each other some of them may be different but there's specific little messages in there that you will be attentive to and that will resonate within your heart and it will help you to expand your awareness into your own um, self authenticity within yourself and um, a lot of like inspirational ideas I feel will come to you 
and being able to really uh, hone in a sense of balance with your emotions, um, with your with your train of thought into things, and possibly of holding on to specific things and only having a focal point in one area instead of being able to be broad and kind of flow within the energy field of it instead of or you know and and like kind of missing certain other things but yes i greatly appreciate y'all and i will see you next week unicorn out bye